have earned a staggering $32.8 million between them in esports history. It is the richest match between any players in any match anywhere on earth. Let's get into game number one. You really should prepare for battle. That was a rich introduction from Red Eye, and really it is. Like, we've got so many great players, 10 TI winners inside of one series. This happens... I actually don't even remember the last time this happened. Teams seem to always just change straight after, like, uh, they win or... Yeah. Uh, even OGs, like, they... Anna was gone, now he's back, and now playing up against... TI winners from different years, obviously. Uh, Liquid, let's talk about their draft, man. They kicked off. You know, I got I got a bit sad because I'm like, oh god, they're gonna play a Razor, Matumbaman. It's gonna be yeah, really, really looks, boring in their first four. It looked bland, but it's very similar to what TNC did yesterday, also against OG, where you pick these first four heroes. As second pick, you need to ensure that your last pick can be your win condition, and you want to set the stage for it to be anything like. I call this Meepo because it's the dream Meepo game. Yep. You're a hard counter to Morph, you're a hard counter to AM, and none of the other OG heroes deal any sort of real AoE damage. And if Miracle really just plays this here, I, I see this as like a 95-5 outdraft. It's really just does does Miracle like play Meepo? And yeah. Based on his history as a Dota player, I'm gonna go with yes. Yeah, I just like, I was like, we had uh, Kuro's interview beforehand, so it's like, yeah, you know what, we're just gonna like, we'll, we'll eyeball it, like this, this feels right, so we just go for it, Sept's now in trouble, the cold feet's able to hit, and all the body blocking, mind control will get the last hit in. Yep. And that's Team Liquid having the start, exactly the start they wanted. Yeah, and, and just to go back through this drafting phase, like, OG last man of Brood, because that's also a threat, and that's the... The beauty of how Liquid drafted this, where um, you are in a position where you can take all of these crazy last pick heroes are scary. I think behind Meepo would have been an Alchemist. It could have been a Brood, but you don't know what to expect as OG and definitely caught off guard here. Uh, they're going to have a tough ask just because, once again, no real natural rotator, very low damage output. They have a Morphling and an Animage. Mm -hmm. Who's going to actually be the one to press this, mir uh, this miracle? I, I, I'm uncertain, like, even at the very, very beginning, so the kill does happen over on over on the top, and Anna's quite low, GH has moved up to this top lane trying to beat him down, but uh, they they were a little uncertain if they wanted to then go help out Topson. There was a TP that came in from Nurtel, he ended up cancelling it to not try and defend Topson, and instead they focused on diving that top tier yep. 1 tower, and Anna's sh shown he also wants to be aggressive in this yeah, lane. But keep in mind, like, they, because of that pressure, Matumba Man blew his TP. So I'll have to do that long walk of shame all the way back into the lane. And that kill happens because Ana actually started with Orb of Venom. And this is something more teams have been looking to do, recognizing the value of the item. Because, you know, everyone's buying regen. It's very difficult to, like, harass people out of a lane anymore and, like, dominate it that way. But you can find kills so much easier with this item picked up early. Ana, because he went for the early mana break, he can't just blink away and break that static link. But as he said, like, it was great lane presence as long as he had the supports with him, but no tile was in his denying denying stage. Yeah, this game is going to be a bit slow um, outside of this top lane, I would imagine. Bottom, it's a Nyx versus Sanking. Oh, oh, nice stun by Mind Control to get Seb a couple tower hits. But, I mean, you can look at Seb with a Tango. Without a Tango, he's got like 5 HP regen. It's just, <laughs> it's a weird lane for Sanking because you can't actually... Beat it, the Nyx. It's a Nyx assassin with just this insane regeneration. Like, that's that's the beauty of him. The, this defensive tri-lane has now begun from Liquid. GH and Kuro together. They're actually going to find Anna in the trees, but he's got Blink available now. It's funny, because the AM pick is great, and I can understand why even when they already have a morph, they would pick it up, because none of the first four Liquid heroes do really anything to Ojiana, but it's that Meepo pick. This hero is is the counter to the Animage. And, if you're going to win this game as OG, you need to win this top lane. Let Ana play by himself as your support duo then looks to not just help Topson, but also chase this Meepo around the map and checking out Miracle's previous Meepo's. Not something he plays very often, but uh, when he does, it's the dream game for it. And what do you know? They win. Yeah. Well, as long as he can keep it up for this game. It's already just farming jungle, leave Topson alone. Everyone's just gone a little bit more passive. But so 
what, what do we actually look at before we start to see the rotations? We were talking about this during the drafting phase. ES is so great moving around. When does Liquid start to actually step up the pressure? When can they, considering um, this landing phase? Usually it's on the blink timing on the Meepo. What I've seen very often, and it's in fact what you've got queued up on Miracle right now, is three or four Wraith bands into sometimes Rush E-Blade, Blink. Um, and in some order, it's Blink E-Blade. And at that point, the Meepo is both a crazy high threat all around the map, and you're obviously still out farming everyone in the enemy team. But they're going again up on top lane, Anna. Focusing on to GH. He's still got 10 stick charges. That's why GH got pretty good. Gonna miss the rolling bolt, however, caught in very, very deep. Goes in for the follow-up kick into GRX. GRX turns around for one more stroke of fate, slowing down Matalman and buying time for Anna to move forward. Liquid, they're pretty low. In fact, they're basically out of mana. Matalman underneath the tower. Yeah. Anna is shielded up. There should be enough pop damage once the tower attacks him to get the kill onto Matalman. Rolling Boulder in. GH creates a space. Anna's being forced back again. While a Batum will die over in the tree lines, no tail goes down to Kuro. Anna, this cold feet, the tick is there, but it's not enough. 66 HP gets back behind the tier one tower. Kuro will get oh, one more attack in. Their range was so long, but he connects onto Anna. That is huge for Liquid. This is the lane that they're going to have the hardest time trading effectively in. And a, a big miscue from Anna that he held his blink for a while, took a ton of drain, and then actually just kind of blinked away to end up getting clicked down anyway. I, he didn't blink max range. It was very strange decision making, an uncharacteristic mistake, I would say. Uh, bounty runes in 10 seconds, though, so this will benefit OG since they just respawned. They'll be able to control both top bounties. Most likely, bottom mind control already set up. Yeah, Seb's got his spike carapace, so oh, he's going to early bar his strike and then all our mind control to get both of the bounty runes on bottom. And yeah. Kuro got the one up on top, so it actually will be a 3-1. Yep. And I, I wanted to bring up as well, I liked what Liquid did, and it's partly why I think you feel forced to go for a different carry in the Animage as OG, where we have an, an, uh, an AA, and we saw first two Morphling all the time, and it always boggled my mind that nobody just takes this like one-to-one -one counter, right? Morph is always going to do Morph things, but AA is one hero, the hero in all of Dota that can actually deny tops in this game, where if you get your Ice Blast off, it doesn't matter what Morph is itemized for, like, you can't shift. This is, you know, previously people were rushing Spirit Vessel, but, you know, this guy's got it built in. Only downside, of course, is that now that they've changed Chilling Touch, so it's not applicable on any of your own heroes, you'd think you're weak in tri lanes, but so far, Liquid proving that it's just fine. Yeah. It's, a, it's all working pretty damn fine for Liquid. Yeah. Like they're, they're watching Miracle with a fresh observer. Yeah. Rolling Bolt is going to connect onto Anna, he's and he's blink. in trouble. Blink was on cooldown. He already used it before to escape the static oh blink. Oh my god, bottom. And it's just a stun burrow from the trees. And Mike with that, we All the damage they needed. Yeah, I mean, I. Look, I said it was 95-5. Nothing's changed. It's now 98-2. I'm still gonna have to favor Liquid. Obviously, OG's not out of it, but the, the way these... The, the strategy of Liquid in this game is near impossible for OG to deal with. They're gonna have to outplay, outfarm, and in general just play flawlessly from here on out. Because otherwise, it's just gonna be the four Liquid heroes running around the map. Eventually, Miracle shows up to collect a triple kill, and base is gonna start dying. Yeah. They need to hit something before that yeah. point. Look, look at the wards from OG. Like, they recognize it. There's a triad all centered around the mid lane, just trying to ensure that they know exactly where Miracle is because they recognize we cannot just let him free farm the jungle. This is this is like old Drow on steroids. You, you can't let this happen, especially when he's got such great matchups. And this heat map is not going to change. He will not be leaving his own side of the map until the items he's got in his quick buy are complete. But the they don't even look like a blade. team that can actually go and contest this. Like, what's it, but like, a Baden's going to run at you? Group yeah, stroke. yeah. Who's going to, Mix is going to invis, right? Go through the map. Who's actually slaying with him? Yeah. Yeah, they just don't have that follow-up, and this is the way that OG drafts have always worked, right? Like, you've got this, like, it'll be either Thompson or it'll be Anna who will sacrifice himself. He'll move with the other three, he'll move with seven, the two supports, and they just try and attack and create space for the other core to then get on board and be able to kill off whoever the hell they can find. And you're already seeing the movement now. So Seb goes into Vendetta, or actually goes in Invis and Vendetta, so double the layering. This is exactly the problem, right? Like, Seb's here. Seb's using these wards. Up but top, Matalman's in a lot more trouble. GH gonna rolling ball her in, but now he's in the middle of three with no escape ability. So they made us dive underneath the tower. Abaddon enables this so easily, because they've got the slows, but it's also the shields. They can tank through all of this damage. 
well. And Seth's gonna find an easier target, which is Kuro. All about the Orb of Venom, boys and girls. Make sure this is something you look to pick up on your carry heroes, because everybody in Pro Dota is gonna be doing it real soon. Oh, Kuro's gonna die. He didn't realize he was being stalked. Anna gonna blink aggressively in, but Thomas TP don't go with the shrine, so he's back in this fight. Jirax already gets himself a double kill out of this, as Miracle being involved. OG thought for a moment they were gonna get what they were looking for. A turn to a three-man stun. That's why Miracle's getting in front and behind Sept. You get a double stun up, but Miracle will stay with him. One more attack from the Meepo will do it. No matter how much <laughs> mana Anna tried kill. to take off him. Oh, that's dangerous. Just more gold for Miracle. He doesn't even have to leave his side of the map mid lane. Get Tops looking to make plays. He's taking over the Earth Spear, chasing GH. Yeah, he missed the rolling boulder at the very start, however, so GH was able to dodge it. He's still again with 10 stick charges. Ooh, that, if that silence came out a bit earlier, might have been able to take out Tops because the morph uh, still does dispel the, uh, the cold feed. Bottom lane, yeah, it's it. My, my concern really, again, for OG is like, if you look at the net worths right now, the, the key Range heroes for Liquid are ahead, and that's the mind control sand king. Except, oh, oh no. mind control actually stuns and dodges the impale. It's well played. Yeah. You yeah. didn't even see him coming, but they're moving over for just to, as he like, secure around the 10 minute rune mark. Oh, nice. They get rid of the fresh observer ward as well. Yeah. And, and middle tower is under attack. Ugh, I'm, just, I'm just trying to I'm trying to <laughs> find ways for OG to get here, but I don't I just don't see the power spike. Oh yeah, I don't see at what point they're powerful enough to really beat Liquid around the map. Mid Tops is doing a great job like continuously pressuring business. mid, punishing Miracle for those jungle rotations. But yeah. uh, great centuries from Kuro. He's got them all in this mid lane to ensure that the Seb rotation will not be effective. I'm I'm with you where like Liquid are looking very, very strong. I but this is still this is still one OG, but it's a hero that Topson's able to outplay somebody on. The power of the Morphling can really come to fruition. And if that creates space for Anna, who hasn't had a terrible laning phase, he's hitting at 3.7k in the net worth. Yeah, he's behind mind control, but he's ahead of the Razor by almost a thousand net worth. It's the Meepo who's the one who's gonna blow out of control, but if the Nyx Assassin, who has really been, like, never really as a three, however, but has always been that counter to any kind of initiation, could really mess with Team Liquid. It's true. And I like this move from OG. It's a good start. They rotate completely out of bottom and look to push two lanes with Catapult Wave active. They're most likely going to get mid, but look. Is the oh, that's the ice play. Oh, oh. oh. Playing, screwed it up. He needs to wave himself away. Doesn't get up the hill, however. Is there another control? Is it static link? But Thompson shielded up and just walks it off. Both heroes in mid, no tail, able to keep him alive. And it's the OG stable of no tail as well. Yeah. Shield always be there. I don't care if I die as long as my core lives. Yep. And they will get top tower though, so Ana's still getting a lot of space. Bottom, however, Radiant's Seb's getting dove. He needs to actually go invis. Yep, he'll do it. Vendetta. Yep. This is Liquid, you know, they recognize, hey, we're gonna keep pressure down here, try and kill ourselves a tier one with a catapult. Seth looking to get the last hit deny. Does not. Oh look, This actually feels kind of has like good for OG now that top tier one tower's gone down, and yeah. can just camp himself up inside the dire jungle. And they they their wards are timing out. They had an observer ward between the tier one and tier two in mid. And they yep. have another one which but, is timing out inside the jungle, so they'll need to redo that vision if that's going to happen. My, my concern is just that you look at the, the mind control, he's, he's 400, 500 away from Blink. And once he grabs that, we saw what happened middle with the strike him. He's got no escape out of this one. Did anyone bring detection? Yep, courier just, got just arrived on the courier. There, that's a DHL delivery right there. The ice blast looking for some kind of counter. But mind control, fire strikes once again. The dust wear off in a second. Soulbind, GH, they all just come in on this one, but they're trapped together. Rolling ball forward set with another double stun, but as Thompson, he's the real ES in this game. Moves over towards Kuro, who actually claimed a triple kill out of this. Ice Blast doing most of the work. He's pushed down the hill while Anna will claim his own kill against Matumba up on top. Thompson's not done just yet. He's got another rolling boulder available. He's gonna go for the kick to begin with. Kuro juking in the tree lines, and now Miracle's rotated over. Earth bind him up. Kuro wants to deliver it. Nothing. It cannot really save the Morphling. He has three stick charges. Not enough mana for a waveform out. He was so close to it. He was short by four mana. Fortunate. But Miracle will claim him. But still, Anna getting solo kills up on the top lane. I mean, that's the downside of the Razor pick. And that was the one choice from Liquid you were questioning even during the drafting phase. Like, it was, it was it, also it, in the first two, right? Mm hmm.
And it's it's a very tough game for Matumba Man, especially after the landing phase. Razor is not a hero that likes to be tri laned, especially not against a hero like AM, who can never pressure. And it's so frustrating as a Razor, because you can't do anything to Morphling either. Nyx isn't in lanes anymore. So there's nowhere you can go and, and shut down an enemy core, force him to the jungle. It'll be a tough game. It just comes down to do we believe in the Meepo or not? Yeah. And Anna's having a great game, don't get me wrong, but there's just nothing you can really do to itemize to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Miracle Meepo this game. It's, it's that power spike Radiant's you were talking about with the Meepo, like when he gets attack. the Blink Dagger and E-Blade, but Miracle isn't reaching it fast enough, and you're seeing OG, they're three men smoking up, they're looking for something while this power isn't there from the Meepo, yeah. or they get it through a split area. Once well, again, Anna is just alone up on the top. Th this is um, like the hidden power of the Nyx Assassin. You don't know where Seb is, and if you look around the map on specifically Liquid Side, they don't have sentries placed. Yep. So Miracle's playing more defensively than he would be were this any other offlaner. Even even right now, if you look, he's not farming. He's just camping on towers because he has no idea where these OG heroes are. And that's the power of the Knicks. You don't necessarily need to be finding kills on the Meepo as much as controlling Vision, staying off map, and slowing him down simply by being in an unknown. They're gonna try and kill Notel on bottom. This will be known. Notel triggers the borrowed time nice and early into a shield. Has TP scroll available. They don't really have a stun, but now they do the cold feet and the borrowed and the borrowed strike is gonna come back off cooldown. And with the ice blast, no way for Notel to survive. Thought he would have just TP'd out of that once the borrowed strike oh. and cold feet were both used, but uh yeah, doesn't. Nice. Yeah. Like Matamba man just desperately trying to get whatever he can. However, still out farming Seb. It, it, it's doable for OG. The later this game goes, the better. Meepo is very much a timing hero. You're looking to take total map dominance pretty soon. And, and, yeah, and again, it's, that. it's not the most uh, farm Meepo we, we've seen. This is a free game for Miracle thus far. He's got three kills to his name, and yet he's still only outpacing Thompson by 600 gold. Uh, this is not as fast as Thompson. He's found Koro. Able to hit the stun. Mind Control is wondering if he's going to help out. He's prepping the epicenter. He's coming in. So is GH with a rolling ball to forward. He's able to get a quick silence off, and Thompson's in trouble. He'll wave form back out again. Does not want to be involved in this fight once again. And Jirax, well, he can soul bind up, and there's nothing no tell or Seb can really do for this, especially when Thompson ended up shattering out. A great bar strike from Mind Control up the hill into Seb. Able to claim that stun. There's no fort, there's no shrine to give him that extra life to survive. So all he's got is the ability to walk it off for two more seconds to get that spike camera up. Won't happen. And Anna, uh -oh. he'll also be trying to fight into the back line, but he gets rooted up, trapped up by Miracle, and they'll beat him down. He cannot blink away inside of that. And OG, the power spike arrived from Liquid, and man, did they make the most yeah, of it. Uh, man, I feel like the moment that engagement starts, Anna's got to get involved. He shows up so late that Miracle, who really didn't have any intention of coming down, is free to join as well. And the thing about it is whenever you Maybe see, we see this all the time when both teams are running more of this 1-4 style, the violence. problem is that in this game, Meepo has such a massive advantage on Animage that Ana has to change his playstyle. He's got to get involved and try and just extend the length of this game and prevent the Meepo. Like, you don't want to trade with Meepo. If he's farming, you go fight. If he's fighting, you're farming. Like You don't want to get involved when this hero is in the area and he turns out, yeah, sure, you kill Kuro, but now you've suddenly given this huge advantage to Miracle, and that was pre-Blink. Now he's got one, yeah. and it's so much easier for them to start playing Dota. We'll finish it in just a second, but Meepo farms fast. still feel like that fight would have been so much more different if the Ice Boss can connect from Kuro. Yes, definitely. Like, like, this ability, if it misses, it feels like OG have a chance to fight, but yep. when Toxic got connected on by that, oh, very quick silence. No Spike Carabas to save, but there will be no Tail to save. Yeah, allowing and the Spike Carabas to kick it, in. It goes back to this, like, this, these mechanics, right? Where, you know, it's like if you're playing against PA and you have a Viper and you have easy break, you stay in another toxin, PA can't play Dota. You have similar mechanics here where OG have answered both huge core, or sorry, Liquid have answered both huge cores of OG. Where a Morphling, nothing you can do, there's an AA in the game. We have answers for you forever, Thompson. Mana, there's a Meepo. Like, it's just so hard for either one of these superstar players to have the game impact that we're used to seeing. That's unfortunate for Mind Control. He, he looked right. Matumba, look middle. He's going to go down pretty fast. And the, the swell connects. Razor trapped up on the high ground, but he's pretty damn tanky. Yeah. That's a hood of defiance on him, not to mention all the other yeah. stats that are with him. And there's the Meepo. That was his blink reveal. Yep. It pretty, you blink in, you Radiant spam root, and Anti Mage attack. is dead. Ana, when he gets the Manta. 
Yeah, just tough. If there was like, if this was a mag game for Seb and Ana was able to go for like a Vlad's Manta build and sort of match the timing mm -hmm. of the Liquid Draft, I'd feel way more confident. But... And they're both building for it, like both Thompson as well as as well as Ana. They're, they're both building for this Manta, and Thompson's almost done it. He just needs a little bit more time yeah. to farm. O OG not out of it. This is good. They want to ensure they defend, but here comes my control. Yep, right? Epicenter there it is. jumps in right on top of the target, and Thompson again, hit by the Ice Blast. Ooh. He waveforms away. He still got triggered by it. Didn't get hit hard by it, but Miracle, it doesn't matter. e Blade popping through the back. He'll root up no tail. There's he had no there. borrowed time to survive. A Miracle yeah. with a double kill racks up. Now he's seventh for this game. Yeah, remember the power spike? That this is it. Mm. You just start, you just go. Mind control, you just go. If you can get that initial stun lock and have Miracle able to follow up, you are always going to win these engagements because a core is dying. The supports of OG, as we said, they don't have damage. You can't touch Miracle anymore once one of your cores goes down. And th that first fight win, you get a tower, you get Roche. The next fight win, they're getting tier three racks. Yep. Going towards Roshan, easy to do. Yeah. Meanwhile, mid tier one for OG is still full health, but Sorry, yeah. I just noticed that where's the where's the team fight? It it doesn't exist right now. Like you're right. Like until the Manda is up on the enemy, he can't get involved in this engagement. The Ice Blast continue to connect on the hero GH, uh, uh, trying to follow up with mind control to get the catch onto Seb. He's already back well behind the towers. Look, look top, you can see Miracle. He TP's his real morph in. Thompson. Can't go that one more wave. Yeah. He's thinking about it though, but luckily there is a, uh, a ward up, so he didn't see the Meepo rotate. OG do have some good range clearance just because they have that that power of, of the Grimstroke. But here's the thing, Miracle, he just hit level 18. He's got that fourth Meepo. Maybe he'll forget about it, make a mistake, OG could punish. Maybe. Anna's taking his time on the bottom lane. Again, just removing himself from the pit from the picture. Just keep farming up bottom lane. The top three net worths, yeah, Meepo's up high, but because he's taking so much on the map, SK as well as Razor do drop down. So these type of kills, maybe they're possible. There's that, bit, that little miracle Meepo that Seb's trying to kill off, but they can't do it. Top's in trouble. He'll get popped down again. And oh boy, there's just too many miracles. He's, he's just got more to play in Dota. After that 1v5 yesterday, he's trying to get another one of those solo rampages. Although his team is getting involved. Yeah, no, he shouldn't kill no as well, but Tom has slipped in behind the team, where the, the team tower, he found that. And maybe they oh, can't move the fast enough. <laughs> Mind control, gets the Barrow Strike off, Kuro. Yeah, I, he won't get that. He wasn't gonna die, but he cancelled that peak. <laughs> I've done that before. I love how, uh, like, we talk about how great the Ice Blast is. He's going for an Aghanim Scepter, and he's almost there, Kuro. Like, it's another 450 gold, and he's got it. My god, this is just... It's going from bad to worse to horrendous for OG. How he has Ags and 400 gold? What's Kuro been doing? Oh, he's 8, 2, and 11. Holy crap. All right. <laughs> yeah, he, he got that triple kill uh, underneath the Radiant Shrine on bottom. Yeah, I forgot about that one. Yeah, it's, it's the Miracle Show for now. He'll have the Scotty complete in a moment. Still has that Aegis. Just trying to continue accelerating. You can see them start to choke out OG. OG and oh, they're going oh, again. The trap. Any mage. Yeah. I can't oh, counterspell nice. that. Yeah. I, again, I don't want to... Uh, this is this is not on OG's play. This game is nearly impossible to win. Yeah. And Liquid just... For the first time, I've been reading a lot of flat Kuro's been getting for his drafting. But uh, this one was was very well set up. They had the opportunity to 10th pick. Whatever it was they felt gave him the best chance to win the game, and this Miracle Meepo de definitely demonstrated. He's coming up. Do they even try and get Miracle down? Remember, he's got the Ego Steam on, so even if you burn through him once, you'll have to burn through him a second time. That Meepo is pretty low, but Mind Control, the Fire Strike connects. The Sentry wants a little bit further down the hill. That's why they saw Seb. He'll get himself a four-man stun, but he'll lose his life for it. Where is the rest of OG? Currently, Anna is still dead. Toxin will arrive. Trying to plasma field back there. team Thompson. Liquid, but yeah, he's very, very That's close to the front line. lines. And watch the AA closely. Watch the Ice Blast. Mind Control jumps in. There it is. They just wait for Thompson to come forward. He'll waveform down again. And the Ice Blast, it did connect. As well as the Spirit Vessel, they're just layering yeah. every kind of effect back against him, but that's why you've got shields. Yeah. And Miracle had to cycle, so he's coming back, but his Meepos still need to regen. He might just go in. The next Ice Blast, you could wait for. You don't want to necessarily team fight just yet, but with Glyph down, it does feel like they can just secure this Rax. And, then, and OG will let it go. Like, Anna's still farming up his Mana Star while this push is going on. That's a good hit from Seth. And maybe with the Meme Hammer, they can kill off Miracles. They will break through the Aegis, the Immortal. But can they go a second time? The rest of Liquid is still hanging around. 
They can slow Miracle down. They're attacking into the primary. And uh, they don't want this. Or do they? No, they don't. Miracle will blink away. Ana does have that Manta, however. The yep. Manta means that he can actually dispel that initial root, and then when he gets the BKB, it at least be easier for him to play. Seb's yeah, staying along with Miracle. They like want to try and deal with Liquid, but... It's dangerous, to say the least. Yep. Anna's got to be careful as well. He's so close to the rest of Team Liquid. He's blinking down to continue his farm, but he needs to get to the yeah. southern side of the map now. And, and I, I, once again, I go back to whenever you're playing a Meepo lineup, ideally you want a hero like Razor. I'm a top of my Razor. Some just fat, annoying hero that buys tank items and like walks in to take some of the fire. And then three supports that have tons of kill potential. I think AA arguably the best with Meepo because so much of your damage is magical thanks to those poofs. And Kuro with that max Ice Vortex is providing 30% bonus damage every single time. Add that to the E-Blade. These poofs are doing their double damage. That's actually kind of funny when you when you see the change up uh, then from OG. Like, okay, we're gonna try and focus on that magical damage. So you get a veil of discord in from Jirax. He's yeah. looking at an E blade as the next one. That can make it difficult just to keep hitting hey, at least. OG have the right read on the game. Like they understand what they need to do, which is find some way to kill the Meepo. And AOE magic damage is the answer. Just to push up. Oh, the jump, the forest strike. Double blink can't be saved. No tell did try. And now Team Liquid, how much do you get for this? The tier 2 town is yeah. still up on the side lane, so it's either you go for a GG push or you pull back out and just happy you killed the Morphling again. Uh, Ana's gotta be careful, he's got no BKB, will dive down with the trees, yeah, we'll just TPI, it's so. over. Yeah, force at least the move back from Liquid. Okay, yeah, Thompson dies, but all for the greater glory of the anti mage, yeah. right? BKB on Matumba Man now, so even though his damage output's low, his job is just gonna be to BKB, get a drain off on either the AM or one of these OG supports, and just place himself as a buffer between himself and the, uh, the three Liquid killers and stunners. I'm wondering how long until Liquid actually just get a gem so they can see Nick's assassin. Because yeah. Seb, Seb's just walking around quite freely at the moment. They have sentry wards planted in a lot of places, but you're seeing the deep warding also from Jirax. And I like what Seb is doing here. He's setting up to cut the next wave, recognizing that one, it's catapult spawn, and two, they're really not going to be able to defend in the bottom area of the map. He's got to try and just cut, but oh, he missed. Oh. Uh -oh. Timing's a little off. Sun Spike Carapace TP up. Miracle's going to arrive and he gets the root. Seb trapped at the tree lines. Oh, oh. The power of the Meepo, that whole creep back wave shenanigans are not quite as effective when Miracle can both push bottom and cover the lane bottom. I'm surprised, and, and I will say, like, this, if Meepo isn't changed as we get closer to TI, like, this is a hero we will see teams, like, specialize in as we get closer, and I believe it'll be similar to what Huskar was at TI7. It's too powerful of a hero to, to just be this this cheese last pick. It's something we're going to see far more often. And as someone who has a lot of experience losing the Meepo, let me tell you, it's very easy to do right now. And Miracles just seems to be everywhere. He's reading this map perfectly. He's like, okay, Seb's gonna cr try and yeah. creep skip us. Everyone's been creep skipping this tournament already. And then he looks towards the top lane. Anna didn't even get the last hit in the tower. It was denied of the tier two tower. But he's doing the right thing. He's keeping that pressure up on top, at least forcing Liquid to look behind to see if they can go, like, see if they're forced into a trade-off. Yep. It also stops Liquid from ever getting Mega Creeps if they can't attack the Tier 2 tower on top. It's true, but the, the concern is, if you look at Meepo, Miracle's heading over to buy his second E-Blade. There is so much damage on him and his clones right now that if they win a fight, like, they won't even need to go for Rax. They'll be able to kill Tier 4s and throw in 20, 30 seconds. I still love how this is the most efficient way you can build yeah. up. Is to actually just get a copy of the same item that shares the same cooldowns, too. Mm. It's not like you're going to get two charges out of this. That's just the most stats. 40 agility, 10 strength, 10 int. It's, it's the perfect item for Meepo. And the most gold per stat you can get. Bottom, pops it. Yeah, here's your jump again. Hit by the ice blast. No, nope. he waveforms out yes, this time. No, he got hit. Oh, yeah, he's still got hit from Bitten. No tails in deep, trying to keep his support alive, but that won't happen. The bar is tight, they now turn their attention to Team Liquid. Over towards them, that Nyx Assassin trapping him up inside the nest. Jurek just had to fight back, hitting everyone with a stroke ball. Up on the top lane, Adder is pushing into the tier 3 tower, but Liquid, they're happy to take this trade off. Everyone's having to buy back from OG, just trying to keep this bottom lane of Rax alive. Yeah, now with the epicenter, Mind Control, a perfect double bar strike through Seb, through No Tail. This will be dead for such a long time, and Tops is trapped up by Miracle. He had a wave for himself back behind his tier 4 towers, but now Animage involved in this fight goes for the hit of the core of the Ice Blast and will be off target. The melee ranks are still falling down, and Seb's wondering where is.
is the opening. Top of the rolling ball is able to get the fire strike. He's trapped. Stunned up. Maybe he has enough life when he gets the one charges off, but it won't be enough. He can buy back into the game. And they will try and force this liquid. But OG, how many buybacks he got left in the tank? Two. Yeah, that, that was just a casual, what was that? Like, I'm pretty sure that was a five for zero. And it's funny, it's cute. I'm like, okay, Ana, you're gonna slip push. Liquid just like, well, we're not leaving your base. You know, take that Rax even if you want it, but you know, oh, maybe you get to kill a mind control. Yeah, they're gonna kill him. Oh, Zep, that's maybe. a better one. And then it's just all oh, falling maybe. down. Anna is down. And this is when they get the follow-up kill into GRX. This is GG. OG, Norwood, Team Liquid. Yeah. Such a great draft. It's still, like, you gotta give props to OG. They started this game off with an actual plan. They knew they were in trouble. They knew their win condition, and they played towards yeah. it, but... Look, Liquid... Still too good. Liquid. Team Liquid, the, the reason even though